Yeah. What? Already? Yeah, that's 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 too far ahead of schedule. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'm coming right now. Laura. 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 What? We gotta get to the base. Something happened. Everything okay? Is this serious? Just meet me in the car in five minutes. I'll get Tina. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes, meet me in the car. Did you see what's happening outside? What should we do? I just stay calm. I need you to pack an overnight bag. We're going to the base. How long are we going to be gone? Not long. So I don't pack that much? Look, I don't know, baby. I, I just get what you can, and maybe we can come back for the rest. But I got to get to the base as soon as possible. I want you there with me, OK? OK. Come on, Laura, let's go. What's Kelvin's ETA? Somebody give me an answer ASAP. I got a force launch going into space loaded with nukes way ahead of schedule. Now, why is he not in here? His locator shows him nearly 60 miles off site. Well, get an escort and get it to him now. Yes, sir. Sir, that blast came out of nowhere. Another one like that might take our launch systems offline. Recommendations. Uh, well, the faster it gets up there, the sooner it comes down and gets reloaded. Commence countdown. Copy that. Countdown commenced. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Rockets firing. And we have liftoff. Is up, sir. Now get him in here. Ryan, can you slow down? I guess I shouldn't even bother asking why we're going to the base. I just can't, Laura. I found out why, then. I wouldn't be doing my job. Thanks, baby. That's very reassuring. You're unbelievable. Unbelievable.
my god. Oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? Who was that? Why would people be after us? I'm not sure. Not sure because you don't know, or not sure because it's another stupid government cover-up? I'm not sure because I really don't know, and I don't want to find out with the two of you in the car. Everybody, hold on. Dr. Kelvin, what are you doing with nuclear weapons, Dr. Kelvin? What? 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 In the last year, you have made seven trips to the International Space Station armed with bombs. Why? Look, you, you got it wrong, okay? We're all in danger, the whole world. Yes, by your actions. Professor Kelvin? <gasps> Professor Kelvin? There's one more. Monroe? Monroe? What took you so long? Got here as quick as we could, sir. Don't worry, Mrs. Kelvin. I'll have agents taking care of you and your daughter before this project is finished. I'll make all the arrangements myself. Get him to the base. They'll be safe there. Yes, sir. I can't believe we were in danger and you didn't tell us. I didn't know. Honestly. Nobody outside the project is supposed to know anything. Well, maybe obviously somebody found out. I just... I, I just... How long? Tell me when it's going to be over and we're going to be safe. 
A month. One month. One way or the other, it'll all be over, I promise. Okay. Ma'am? I'm Agent Green, my partner Agent Dunn. We have a car waiting. Okay. Sir? Gotcha. Wife, my daughter, myself, whatever these guys found out from us, they would have killed us afterwards. You know, it's one thing for me to put my life on the line. Whoever side the project leaked the information out will plug the leak. Well, please do, before it gets more out of hand, before it gets out to the public, before it causes worldwide panic. Professor Kelvin, Captain James Moto, Air Force Office of Special Investigations. Hi. I've been assigned to go through your computer systems. Emails, IMs, blog posts, you know, anything containing information leaks. You know enough about the project to know what you're looking for? Well, yeah. Well, I know that small bursts of radiation that have been hitting planet Earth for the past couple years is supposed to be a prelude to a full blast supernova that's coming in all of us. But no supposed to be about it. Based on the analysis we've been getting from the Spitzer Space Telescope, there's going to be enough gamma radiation for a planet-killing catastrophe. I need to go check on the space platform. The climate will go haywire. Everything controlled by electricity will be fried. Communications, water, and you name it. Yeah, the Earth will turn into a radioactive baseline. That's how long we have until the blast hits us. And there's nothing going to be done to stop it. Well, that's what this project is all about. Another hand to help us with our calculations? Uh, Captain Moro, uh, Professor Huang Yi of China. The People's Republic of China. Professor Zuzinski of Russia. You know, the People's Republic of Hulk. Uh, he and I have been going over calculations for nuclear missile launches. And I think that we will have to alter each launch by a few milliseconds in order for pattern to sustain cloud. You have to reprogram the US missile launch codes in order to match the timing of ours. Well, you could just let us do it. <laughs> I'm sure my government would be about as happy about that as yours would. But message me the new codes. No, oh, what a shame. With so much at stake, you think we could make decisions that would benefit our own mutual interests. Perhaps it's in our own mutual interest that we study all the data and make our decisions based on that. Touche. But I don't care. I just hope that when we launch those nukes that the cloud shield will protect the Earth as much as possible. Atmosphere is Earth's natural barrier against radiation. But our data show that the incoming radiation will be too strong for the magnetosphere to handle, so we're gonna help Mother Nature out. There are two schools of thought on where to explode the nukes, inside the magnetosphere and outside the magnetosphere. Honestly, unless we can get more nukes up there, neither of these plans are gonna cut it. Let me ask you a question. Trust these guys? I have to. I mean, and then May, I mean, we're all going to be up on that space platform together, controlling the missile launches. I wish we could launch them from down here. But without the Earth's gravitational pull, we can pinpoint the launches right where we want them and detonate them more quickly. What happens if uh, one of the bursts fries the platform's electronics? Well, uh... We've had them retrofitted with uh, the radiation shield like we got on the space shuttle, so uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. Where is it? Mrs. Kelvin? Tina, are you sure you haven't seen it? I thought you had it last. I can't remember. Mrs. Kelvin? It's gotta be here somewhere. Mrs. Kelvin? What? I'm not leaving here without her mom's necklace, okay? What? We did you the courtesy of coming back here. We are on a tight timetable, and we need to escort you to base. Now, 10 more minutes, and we're leaving. <sighs> Father probably hid it in some stupid hiding place that only he knows. <sighs> Makes me 
so mad sometimes. You know, you really need to cut him some slack. He has some pretty big things on his mind. You're right. Can you help me look? And there you go, my man, Jim. Oh, come on! Well, you know, you need mental equipment to be an astronaut. Funny. Okay, they're loading the nuclear warhead on the shuttle now. This is it. Last one. Let's do our part to save the world again. You see? The nuclear cloud shield? to be strong enough to last through the entire supernova burst. We should have more warheads than we thought. <sighs> that you're right. I, I wish we had more, but given the time constraint that we have and the fact that we only have three shuttles to carry everything to the platform. Yes. I, I, yes. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, I, I just wish we had w one more load of uh, nuclear warheads uh, up there. Because at this point, uh, every shuttle, uh, especially this last one, will make difference as to whether our little uh, nuclear shield will protect whole Earth or not. Look, I know. But we're just going to have to do the best with what we got and hope that it works. A massive earthquake has triggered an infamous volcano in Italy back into activity. Now, 2,000 years later, Mount Vesuvius has reared its head once again, burying hundreds of square kilometers in ash and pumice. Guess what I found? Thanks. What's wrong, sweetie? Are you kidding me? We almost got murdered this morning, and now we're supposed to get in the car and go right back and do it. No, I just, uh... I don't know what else to do. Why can't he just stay here with us? Why can't he just be here? Sweetheart, it's like you said, he's just... He's got a lot on his plate right now. Does she know what to do? Yeah. I know she would. On out, a stronger energy burst going to hit Earth, and uh, where's it going to get? The shuttle. Please tell me the platform is intact. I'm sorry, Dr. Kelvin, but I'm not sure we're going to be able to launch it. There could be problems with the launch structure now. We don't have any other choice. Those warheads have to get up on the platform, or parts of the Earth are going to go unprotected and destroyed by radiation. OK, I'll have the structure gone over again, but. I know. I know everyone is aware of the risk. Please, do it. I'll find out when the aftershocks are going to hit, so 
We can schedule the next launch. All right, good, thanks. I, uh, I gotta take care of something else now. was destroyed in the earthquake. No, 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 we're okay. Yeah, we're, uh, we're on our way there now. The agents are, are right in front of us. They're keeping an eye on us. Good, good. Just, uh, just, just do what they tell you and everything will be all right. Okay. Okay, I will. I love you too. hear you. Oh, my God. Mr. Kelvin? I'm sorry, what? The next aftershock won't hit for hours. I spoke with NASA, and they okayed the launch structure, so they're going to go ahead as scheduled. Good. I pray nothing else happens between now and then. Sir. What is it? We're picking up a major surge in energy particles about to reach the Earth's atmosphere. That's almost four hours ahead of our calculations. We'll have to get a hold of launch control, see if there's any way we stop it from launching. If this shipment of warheads doesn't make it up there, we won't have enough to protect us against the full supernova burst. There's not much we can do about it now. Launch is a go in That flight had to happen. 
We needed those warheads. We have to recompute the missile launch pattern now that we don't have as many as we need. Let's get an uplink. I'll uh, run a full diagnostic, see if there's any damage on the platform. That is, if the energy burst will let us through. I will recheck energy burst. So I try to figure out why we were so far off in calculating speed. our newest data uh, that we are getting now, uh, our calculations on when supernova will arrive are off by more than 24 hours. Jesus. But that, uh, that could change. <clears throat> could get shorter if uh, the stronger blasts that come right before supernova are moving faster than we think. And I think we should take another look at where we're going to do the explosions, inside or outside the magnetosphere. You know my feelings on this and the reason I believe we need to create the shield outside of it. Yes, but I just did a new computer simulation of the nuclear explosions with fewer warheads. And the molecules will stay more tightly bound together if the explosions occur inside the magnetosphere. Not outside, it won't be as effective. Look, and if we explode the warheads inside the magnetosphere, we'd run the chance of destroying the Earth's atmosphere, changing the climate, and destroying this planet as we know it. Oh, please. I think we need to concentrate on immediate threat. Huh? The supernova. But we can't just trade off one form of the Earth being destroyed for another. That's only if we accept your theory. You don't know what will happen any more than I do. A second. I've been running through all the internet traffic in and out here for the past couple days. I found where somebody sent out a message to a blind email account. Professor Ryan Kelvin is the one in charge of putting nuclear weapons into space for the U.S. government. That's no wonder the Iranians came after me. Any idea who signed into this computer? You did. Or someone using your name and password. Look, somebody's being smart. I is there any way that when I, my username signs in to use a program that we attach a voice ID and a password? Uh, sure, no problem. Oh, Take and, care. Uh, uh, one other, I mean, if you can. Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of my wife all day, and it's just nothing but static. I can use a uh, signal booster and an auto dialer, see if that'll do the trick. All right, thanks, because I'm just with the earthquake. I, hey, don't worry about it. I'm on it right now. Yeah. God, I've, I've been trying to get through to you. The, the, the agents were, were killed in the earthquake. Where are you? 
You're still on your way, right? We're, we're trying. We're trying to get to the airbase, but but the bridge is blocked, so we can't get through. Are you okay? You sure? Yeah, I'm worried. I, I've been trying to get a hold of you. I, I said maybe uh, maybe you shouldn't try to meet me here. I I just I don't know what to do. We can't we can't keep driving. No, 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 no. What I was thinking is maybe you meet me at Patterson. There's an underground secure facility there. It's where all the you know, shuttle launch computers are. All the NASA higher ups are going there because we had a special radiation treated. Maybe at the fallout, okay? So, what we heard on the news about the supernova, that, that's true? Yes. Uh... So me not talking to you the last few years is just... I couldn't. And there's something else I want to talk to you about, but not on the phone, okay? Meet me at the fallout shelter. Okay, um... Tell them to expect us, okay? Maybe I love you. I love you, too. When they get to the gates, they're going to use his name. What I want you to do is assign him a secure living quarter until he gets there. Got it. Good man. I got it set up now, so uh, anytime your password logs onto a computer, somebody's going to need to register a voice command before the computer does any, any, anything. One last thing to worry about. Heat is really climbing. I can't believe that storm caught up to us. Get in, let's get out of here. daughter, aren't you?
uh, maybe we can get a ride. Launch computers on the platform aren't responding. You can't get through to them? I, I can communicate with the other systems on board, just not those. Well, it's, uh, it's a good thing we have backup that is uh, functioning, huh? Uh, don't we? Well, I'll go over it to make sure that it is, but it's gonna have to come on board with us on the shuttle. Wait, it needs to be programmed with latest data. And you have to run the test fire simulation to make sure of its launch capabilities. The speed of the energy burst that is increasingly heating us means that launch computer will have to reconfigure time, space, and location of missile launches and destinations second by second. <laughs> we are almost just guessing how fast supernova is really moving until it is right about to hit us. Moto? Look, I'm gonna be down in A13. Do me a favor, will you? Keep trying to get a hold of my wife. Kelvin, Ryan, Project Head. All the electric power turned on in the platform mock-up? Yes, sir. Heard you had a problem. Kind of makes me wonder, God wants us interfering with his plans. Right now I'm wondering how the grapevine around here knows all about mine. The emergency system works. Oh! 
help him. Calvin, it's me, Enroll. Come on, sit down. You okay? You got any idea who attacked you? No, just uh, or what they are after. Just someone dressed in black and kicked my ass in a real professional way. was I out? 40 minutes, maybe. Well, if somebody wanted to sabotage this project, they could have destroyed this or the replacement panel. Or if they just wanted to get rid of you. It's got to be someone inside this project. But after what? There's been no unauthorized access, but I'm cross-checking the password and login now. Where's Moto? He's dead. He came looking for you with a message, and he ran into your man in black instead. Dead? Did the simulation work? You both been here the whole time since I left? Well, I was gone a few minutes to pick up some sandwiches, but why? Didn't Modo find you? You saw Modo? He was here. He was looking for you. He said, uh, uh, your wife called and that she needed your help. Desperately. Time is growing shorter. Looks like the lightning stopped. For right now. How are we gonna get to the base? Howdy. Y'all get lost? All them fires burning everywhere because of the heat and lightning. Hey, uh, do you uh, happen to have a phone we can use? Sure do. If it's still working. This heat. The two of you must be pretty desperate to get somewhere to be out in this on foot. We had a car, but the storm. 
Uh, we're trying to get to my dad before he takes off on the space shuttle. He's working on that big project? Brian? Laura? Look, where are you? Why haven't you gotten to Patterson yet? What? Listen, we're, uh... We're okay, uh, for right now, but I... I don't know if we're gonna make it to Patterson. You know what? I'm, I'm coming to get you guys. No, baby. You can't leave the project now. Well, I have to see you. Baby, and I want to see you too. More than anything, but listen, I know that you have to do what you're doing. Okay, you have a job to do, and there's, there's too much at stake for you to leave now. I can't leave you out there unprotected, Laura. Listen, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Really, you, we'll, you know that cave that we went exploring out during our vacation? Okay, we'll go in there, there'll, there'll be protection. Okay, we'll be fine. Honey, I haven't told you my part. It's up on the space platform, launching the missiles. Part of the supernova burst makes it through to the platform and won't, uh... Look, honey, if I haven't told you enough lately, or, uh... If you ever doubt it... I know, baby. I know. <laughs> and I just need you to know that I love you so much. Dad. Hey, kiddo. Hey, uh, if you guys can't make it to the base in the next couple hours, I need you to find some deep cover, okay? In a mine shaft or a cave or something. Understand? Yeah, I will. I will. Well, I'm gonna do what I can. But I need you and Laura to find a safe spot, okay? Dad? You know, if you want to get to that cave, it's not going to be a good idea for you to try it out on foot. That old truck of mine ain't much, but... It ought to get you there, okay? What about you? Come with us. You're not going to be safe here. <laughs> Where am I going to go? I've lived here my whole life. Die here. So this is the truck I was telling you guys about. Thank you so much. Oh, uh, no need. Glad to help. And uh, you know, I, I was having, I was having second idea here. Well, I'm thinking maybe only one of you should go. I think maybe she should stay. Excuse me. Well, I mean, there's no reason for both of you to go, really, and. Well, I'd like for her to stay. Besides, with the weather the way it is, who knows if we have tomorrow. So what do you say? I think maybe you and I can maybe get to know each other.
I'll call you back. Things bad or worse than expected. I just faced my own mortality a little quicker than I wanted to. I'm not too happy about that. How are you feeling physically? I feel like Atlas with the world on my shoulders, only the world is crushing me. Listen, I want the leak. I want whoever killed Moda found, right? Sweep the place, bugs, taps on my computer, everything. Yes, sir, right away. We lost more time, huh? Based on the speed of these latest births, that's our new time. At this rate, we will have to make launch to space platform more quicker than I thought. A lot more quicker. Then I better finish the simulation on that replacement panel. You're trying to test them? I'm in the platform mock-up. I want remote surveillance. No security actually inside the hangar. Someone wants to come after me, find something out, that's fine. Okay, we need to find out who they are and what they want as soon as possible. We're running out of time. Kelvin, Ryan, Project Head. It's like the apocalypse is coming. Whoa, what's happening? The gusts keep picking up. It's like flying into a headwind. How much longer till we get to this cave we're going to? We should be there by morning. I hope it's not that way. Oh my god. here we may have to turn around. Look out! I see it, I see it! Maybe we should do what they're doing and uh, go back. We can't go back that way, we'll, we'll be trapped. Okay, but do you see a cutoff or anything? Look around. I'm looking, I'm looking. But they, I, I can see a road sign. Ah. Oh my god! No attacker. Well, we're not going to get another chance. We got to work and move you to the shuttle launch site in one hour. It's the atmosphere. It's getting more unstable by the hour. So if we don't go up now, we might not make it to the platform? Any luck on getting a hold of my wife and daughter? Sorry, too much interference. All right, you better pack up the computer replacement panel. We gotta have a word with Jasinski and Yeo. Go 
okay? Yeah. Right, you're gonna be fine. It's a hell of an earthquake. Yeah, get a medical lead down here right away. Roger that. All right, somebody's gonna be here. Just be calm. Uh, yeah, let me put this case down. I'll be right back. Kelvin, Brian, Project Head. <laughs> Jasinski. In the control room. We've been getting ready to leave. All right. Uh, the, all the uh, satellites are giving us data are gone. The only place to, to measure speed of supernova is platform. Oh, hurry up. We got to get ready to go. Huh? Uh, there is no telling how sh much short time we have until uh, before boom. Have you been here the whole time? Yes, I, I tried to get signal through the platform, but could not. For all I know, it may not be working. Wonderful. was centered 30 miles off the coast. It may have destroyed the shuttle platform. All right, let us finish get packed up. Just uh, get us some transportation. Right away. Not beaten yet. See, so you can fix this? Ah, we'll see. There's only so much that can go wrong with the internal combustion engine. <laughs> we go in the uh, back and see if there's a, a screwdriver or something. <sighs> Careful. Try it again. Try again. Go ahead and try it one more time. I've already told you there's no way we can do it. The launch is scrapped. But the shuttles are on the launch pad. We'll be launched and we got no other choice except to try. 
That's just a problem. It can't be launched. The electromagnetic storms have wreaked irrevocable havoc on all our systems. So it's a control panel? Gone. Nothing's working. You still got power, don't you? Well, the emergency generator system. All right, well then, hook it up directly to the shuttle, create a, a makeshift control panel, and get ready to do it manually. <laughs> you got to be kidding. You know how many variables are involved with the rocket firing sequence? Just keeping them stabilized is difficult enough. Come on, you people have fired off enough shuttles by now to be able to do it in your sleep. Take the training wheels off and do it manually. Is it possible? The earthquake could have damaged the launch structure, too. I mean, I don't know. It scares the shit out of me, too. Look, either way, if we don't go up there, we're going to die. Anybody else have a better idea? Do you believe in the hand of God, Jasinski? God's great hand sweeping across the universe to destroy all of mankind. Why don't you just let me enjoy cigarettes before I go blow myself up in that machine? If they can't complete this soon, then it doesn't matter anyway. She is very correct. Just using acceleration factor of burst so far as baseline, I would have to say that we have only about eight hours till supernova burst. It's too bad our People's Republic space program wasn't further along because we would have planned this much better for us not to have a problem like this. Well, you may have had better planning, but you would still need Russian engineering in order to do better. Mm -hmm. As long as we're talking about planning, I'd like to uh, re-examine where we're going to explode the warheads. That has already been decided. Yeah, it's already been decided based on numbers. Uh, the electromagnetic and molecular interactions, but not in how the magnetosphere works. We already know what you think about how it will affect the Earth. Look, I'm not talking about climate effects, all right? I'm talking about the best way to use it as a shield. All right, uh, look, we'll have two shields against the supernova burst, the magnetosphere and the nuclear cloud shield, all right? Based on molecular interactions with constant warhead explosions, the nuclear cloud will definitely be the stronger of the two against the supernova's gamma radiation. A and I agree. Look, based on numbers, It'll hold together a little more strongly if we position it inside the magnetosphere. Okay, but but how the magnetosphere works? It's self-sustaining. Okay, it can take smaller energy bursts and recover quickly. All right, which means with the cloud shield outside of it, then the magnetosphere will act as a constant second shield to catch the radiation the cloud shield misses. All right, but if the magnetosphere takes. The full burst of the supernova first disrupting its flow, it won't be able to regenerate. And, and all that will be left is the one shield, the cloud shield, to protect the Earth. But this is what's important, the strength of the cloud shield. The numbers support it. The scientific community agrees. I don't think we should change things now. Even if we wanted to, there's no time to program the new sequences into the launch computer. Into the I, launch I, computer. I still have... No. We are sticking with the plan. You ready? No. That's not gonna stop us. All right. If you really wanna do this, get your gear.
All systems. Powered up. Check. Cabin pressure. 10.2.0 PSI. Exterior air temperature, 134 degrees. That's supposed to launch if it's over 99. Seeing how we don't even know if the platform's up there, that's the least of our worries. We're all set. OK, commence countdown. I'm proud to stand along with you on this battlefield, an arena we have never encountered. We sit on the brink of annihilation. And I speak to you now, not just as your president, but as a fellow citizen of the United States and the entire world. By now, you all know of the ensuing supernova and the consequences it may bring. It is an event this world will not soon forget. Let our hearts and our minds guide us. Let not the eleventh hour consume us with greed and self-preservation, but let us instead become infected with goodwill and love toward our fellow men. Let this be our finest hour, if it is to be our last. Remember hope. Remember your loved ones and those who came before us. Remember their legacy and what they have given us. And if it be God's will, may he preserve us all. What is it? We ran out of gas. All right. Now let's see if we can get some. Hey! Hey, we ran out of gas. Can you help us out? Listen to me. We can make it. Okay, we have a really good chance of surviving. But if we're gonna do that, we need to do it together, okay? I need you to be strong and I need your help. Can you do that? You can do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Go 
ahead and program your launch codes while I get my laptop up and running! Section B's not just breached, it's gone. I gotta close out, but no telling which one's next. Hurry! Okay! The sequence couplings are frozen. The missiles aren't gonna deploy unless I do it manually. I think I got it! Initiate the firing sequence! Shazinski! Shazinski! Come on! Shazinski! Eyeball. Kelvin, Ryan, uh, Project Head. Time and distance outside the magnetosphere. I'm burning up. I can't take this. Readouts? Yes, that's affirmative. How many did not deploy? How many did not deploy? Hey, Kelvin. Shh. Kelvin, listen to me. The shield still may hold, but you need to confirm that with Yee and Zazinski. It's not happening, I know. We both know the shield is weak as it is. Tell my wife and my daughter 
I love him, all right? Kelvin, what are you doing? My computer. Close comm like. Kelvin, I had to come myself. There's someone you have to talk to. Hello. Right? Right? Supernova, an exploded star, the genesis of life itself on a collision course with our planet. Chuzinski once told me it was like God's great hand sweeping across the universe, intent on destroying all mankind. A cosmic broom meant to clear the way for something new. God's will or not, it came from deep in space, and we felt the terror and isolation of being alone. What does a man do when his back is against the wall? Ye tried to change the codes to protect the Eastern Hemisphere more heavily, helping to ensure the preservation of her people. Thinking back, it's hard to blame anyone for that. When I returned to a hero's welcome, I said, and ye, and Jasinski died saving not only my life, but the lives of billions. We weren't prepared. We didn't see it coming. But we found a way. The nuclear shield held, but not without its own consequences. The world has changed, but we're still here and stronger for it. When all the pretense melts away, you're finally able to hold on to what's important.